This is Matt Ward in Provo, Utah. I'm going to show you a case where DMEC was combined with IWL exchange, pars plana vitrectomy, and Yamane interscleral haptic fixation. This was a very frustrated 63-year-old gentleman that was referred to me with vision that was counting fingers at one foot. He originally had a complicated cataract surgery that caused endothelial damage and an ACI well was placed, but the eye never really saw well, and he was referred for DSEC, which was performed over the ACI well. Unfortunately, the edema persisted and the graft failed, and he was really at his wit's end, wanting a procedure to rehabilitate his vision. And in this case, I decided to perform multiple maneuvers to try and get him a speedy recovery. There are many good videos of the Yamani technique, so I don't show that in this video, but here I'm preparing the DMEC graft to be implanted. The injection goes well. You can see some hemorrhage where the haptic fixation has been performed. And this is a vitrectomized eye, and so unfolding can be challenging in these cases. In this case, I chose to unfold by injecting bubbles uh, inside the scroll. This partially unfolded the graft into a, a position where I felt I could, I could maneuver it a little bit better. The bubbles were then removed and it was apparent that the graft was upside down. So you know, I had to use jets of BSS to reorient the graft right side up. Continued maneuvers allow me to position the graft more centrally, steamrolling with the both cannulas at the same time, flattening the cornea. I finally got it to a position where I felt like I could probably get a bu bubble underneath and that was successful. You can see the S stamp visualized in the center, but it wasn't centered well enough. And so I go in with micro forceps and try to get just an edge of the graft. It's kind of tricky to come out and go back in again. And I'm able to capture just the edge of the graft. And you can see some strie in the graft as soon as I pull. There you can see the S stamp coming over and this allows me to position the graft centrally and then filling completely with air. I then always perform an air fluid exchange and then fill with SF6. And here I'm suturing the temporal conjunctiva closed, removing the infusion trocar And on anterior segment OCT, you can see the nice difference in corneal thickness. And on a slip lamp video here, it's a nice clear cornea, very stable IOL. It's more centered than it appears. There's just a little uh, temporal defect, and you can see the little haptic there inferiorly, the flange under the conge, and then superiorly, the little flange. And he's happy. He sees well. He's 20-25 uncorrected. This is Matt Ward in Provo, Utah. Thank you very much.